Hello, welcome to Mimi's Keepsakes. I'm Arnell. I'm back with the 100 day project and there's only three days left. We're on day 97 and we're making window envelope booklets. And I got saw this on Tina from Shabby Dabby Duda on her mass making session. She has that every Tuesday. And she saw it from Natasha from Treasured Books. So it is just a envelope and I cheated because <laughs> I uh, love the look of these envelopes when they're de um, decoupaged and colored but I had some coffee dyed so I used a coffee dyed one and um, we'll see if we can do decorating a little later on with the other envelopes I have. Anyway, um, so this, it has a pocket here, um, a top loading pocket, and it opens up, and then it has a booklet inside. You can also decide not to um, add a booklet. Mine is not straight as usual, the pages, but you know, that's just the way it is. Anyway, um, you can also decide not to add the pages for the booklet and maybe just add coffee dyed paper inside and make it a writing space inside um, as well if you're concerned about bulk. But I think this is a great happy mail gift. Tina's had a flap over because I am w use the smaller envelopes. I didn't make the flap. I do have one bigger envelope that we can do that. Um, Anyway, so that is the booklet. It's easy, but I think just with for decorating it will be a take a little longer if you use these window envelopes. So let's just make one and um, see how far we get. So I'm going to what did I do with my glue? That's not a good way to start. I'm oh there. I've put it in its right place, that's why. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to glue this flap down here because I want to cut the envelope open actually. And like mine is torn open really bad, but that's not a big deal. We can just add more papers to it to reinforce it. Again, we're just going to use the envelope as the base for the booklet if you do not have coffee dyed envelopes it's not a big deal we're this one is not coffee dyed and we're going to just cover it okay it's open yes as you can see mine is not straight here i am just simply going to add book page on there in a minute and I'm going to take these off as best as I could because it just adds unnecessary bulk. This one is very long and I already made one longer one but even this one I've cut down a little bit just because it's a bit long. So we're going to cut it down as well and it's not straight. Okay there. So the first thing I'm going to do is um, add the pocket part in just because I do not have double sided papers printed and I want, I don't want this to be white. I want it to be look pretty. So what we're going to do, let's decide where do we want the envelope the window. The window might be easier on the bottom. No, but then my booklet will open this way. It has to be this way. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to first of all reinforce this because it's very flimsy. If you are going to continue to put things in and out of here, it's going to tear after a while. So I'm just looking for, and as you can see, a small piece of paper because you don't want to cover your window and I'm just going to use um, art litter glue for this because I do need to glue on the acetate. Okay, and that will just reinforce my pocket a bit. Just need to 
do that straight. So then I need a piece for my pocket. And I can... This is left over, I think, from yesterday or the day before. It's a very thin cardstock, or you can, you don't need a thin cardstock. You can use just a piece of paper as well, because we're going to double it up anyway. But I'm going to use this because it's sitting here, and I want to make sure that I'm using as much scrap papers as possible. And then I am just going to add glue here. And this one won't have a flap either because my envelope simply isn't big enough for a flap. I can always add a flap. Yes, we can add a flap. Oops, but it needs to be glued this way because I want to see that printed paper. And I'm just going to maybe quickly add the notch in here before I glue it down. Oh, I'll have to do it again anyway. Okay, we'll streamline the process with this second one. Anyway, so there is, that's how the front will look. So what I did next, instead of putting paper down here and paper down here, I am going to, I still have this um, beautiful, dictionary paper left from yesterday as well. So let's just use it. I mean, it's sitting here. I don't have to take more stuff out and clean afterwards because it's a constant cleaning situation over here. And I think as most of you know, know in your own craft rooms, the moment you start creating, you also need to clean up. I'm just going to put glue all over because I want to. So again, you're not going to necessarily see your envelope unless you absolutely want to. But the envelope is a base. It gives you that window. You don't have to make the window because a lot of you would think if you're not going to see the envelope, why are you using the envelope? Why aren't you just doing this from scratch? You can do that too, for sure. The envelope just makes it fast and easy. So I'm just going to glue that on there and then I'm going to cut away the excess. Just make sure there's no bubbles. Okay. And I could leave that and make a flap like Tina did. Okay, let's do that. We'll create a flap. Okay. But I can cut this one down because I don't need a flap on this side as well. So now the inside of your pocket is done. That fold is reinforced. It all looks pretty. And now we're going to work on this side. Oh, let's do the notch. I should have left the notch until I've added the top papers, but I think I can still, I can see where the notch on the bottom was there. Okay, have the notch. So then on this side, we want to add um, we want to cover the white or you can obviously you can just spray this with coffee and maybe just cover that with some decorations. I think Tina just sprayed hers with coffee in the front. You can do whatever works. I am thinking let's just add some a bigger piece of paper on here so I'm not decorating all the back as well. Just need to cover all this paper. So let's do something like this. And I, like I say, I love these window envelopes, but I usually do them in front of the TV because it takes some time to cover. And um, when you're making a video, it just feels like it's a long process. Okay, so we'll do just 
just want to maybe bring it down low enough so everything is covered. And I think I just glued it upside down, but you know what? That's okay too. We're not going to worry about that. We don't want to read the music. We just want to look at it. So now I've created a flap over there for my um, envelope and let's fill this in. I have some leftover paper still here. Let's see if we have some more blues. can use more book page too. Here's the book page that I'm looking for. Music and book page, it's okay. What do you think? Let's do it. Music and book page. I don't think I normally do music and book page, but we're going to do it today. Because this book page is nice and it's not a thick paper. It's still that dictionary page paper. That's absolutely great. I'm going to glue that on here. I'll follow along the writing and then I know I did cut straight. There, that can go on there. We can Maybe put some of that there. And I have some of the music paper here again. I just love that edge. Let's do this. Which way do I want it? I want the treble clef and bass clef to show, but I didn't tear it that way. Okay, it's just the way it's gonna be then. So yeah, the hardest part about making the booklet is, oh, I should have glued that down first, huh? Is covering the envelope. And you can definitely, if you have an envelope without writing, or even with writing, spray it with coffee like Tina did. You can go look at her video. But then um, I thought, then I won't be able to finish it because my envelopes will be... Um, wet. So I'm using, I have more coffee dyed envelopes that we can use for this project. And I was going to add this on here. Maybe that. to my fingers. That and let's see what else I have sitting here. Blue papers or beige papers to cover my envelope. Here is more of that. there and just trim it down. Whoa, my bird friend is back. <laughs> this bird is actually scaring me. <laughs> I am honestly scared to meet that bird up there on the roof on the weekend when we have to get rid of 
whatever he is playing with there up on the roof. Um, I had a big blue stamp here somewhere. Anyway, let's glue this down and then we'll go from there. <laughs> Whenever this bird is on the roof, I'm totally distracted. I'm so sorry. It feels like I can't concentrate on anything else than this bird on my roof. I'm not sure what he's doing there. Okay, and then we'll do this one. I'm still looking for my big blue stamp, but I don't see it. What did I do with it? I was going to use it on something else. Oh, I wanted it this way. Oh, I wanted this one a little lower. So I don't want it all in one line. <laughs> And then I found a small blue stamp here. We'll just add this one there. It's going to work. It's big enough. Okay. And then we are ready to add some pages in here. Okay. Oops. Rid of that. This was probably not a good one to <laughs> illustrate how to make these to start off with because I probably should have taken a plain envelope to show you. I might do that with the next one. Well, I thought it was plain, but it is not that plain. Just because the covering the envelope takes longer, but the next one will be, you'll see, it's just, it's easy to do. And then this will fold over as a flap. You don't need a flap, obviously, like we did with the first one. If you don't want the flap, you don't have to use the flap. Um, I'm not totally convinced about the flap, but I'm going to leave that for now. We can always decide later. So let's get some pages in this book booklet. Um, these are just coffee dyed papers. Let's use those kind of two grungy ones for the booklet. And we're just going to... Oh, well, that is too grungy. I'm going to switch you out for this one. Sure. Okay. It will just have to work. Okay. We just need to it to fit in inside the book or inside the envelope yes that's a good size and then this one I'm going to fold over the same way I don't think this one was in the press because it's still very wrinkly. Okay, and there's the pages for our booklet. <coughs> Excuse me. And I'm just going to fiddle with the size a little bit because once you've put them inside each other, they always just come out a little and then and of course inside the booklet you can always um, add pockets and things if you want to I think this is great again for happy mail and I can with my stapler I don't even need the long reach stapler for this I can just staple this in there
and you can sew it in with your sewing machine you can hand sew it in oh it's totally anyway i'll fix that afterwards don't ask me should have uh, used um little um, clips to keep it there anyway and then what tina did with one of her she did a policy closure um i think shannon asked about uh the policy closures if you don't have brads and i was thinking and i'm not sure it will work shannon but what i was trying to say when i uh, answered you is if you put a dot of hot glue there in the middle instead of a brad and you leave it to dry but don't push it down totally um, as you can see there there should be a bit of a space there and just leave it to dry and harden and we'll come back to that and see if that works I that was one idea I had I'm not saying it will work or the other thing that I suggested was those little foam dots if you have some anyway so Tina did a policy closure on hers let's do that too because I still have them sitting here um, just have to grab my twine I put the toy next to the table because I don't have room anymore. Okay. Twine. Let's put it here so I can reach it easily. And then that would just be glue it around. And just get the twine around a couple of times and then just do that it's pretty cute I have to say I do like it anyway and then you can decorate it and your booklets done so let's see if we can find an envelope that will be easier to show let's do a coffee dyed one that we do not have to cover everything and we'll make a flap with this we might just cut this straight or you know just cut that <laughs> it's not straight at all but you know what I mean um, <clears throat> and I'm thinking maybe I'll keep this one long for a tall skinny journal let's do that and this one is coffee dyed so we don't have to cover this entire front to decorate and it would just look like this is not as complicated and as you know a crazy long um project that's why i kind of avoid doing these on in front of on camera so i'm just looking for this will work i think it's um 32 um 32 pounds sorry i'm just trying to see what's going to show in my envelope <coughs> excuse me so okay we can use this and just let me just see where i need to cut it so i do not want to cover that flap twice so we'll just cut that off to size and hopefully this one will not look like oh no I'm not making those booklets they're too much work because they're not it's just when you want to cover the entire um, envelope that it is it's more work okay so again I just want to reinforce that quickly before I add anything on there and I'm just going to use what's going on with my glue I think they're affected by the heat as well let's see if the art glitter glue this is not a good start 
It just worked five seconds ago. I'll just use the fabric deck instead. Okay. Because we just want to reinforce that little bit on top there because that would be a pocket. this glue to work it would just make my it so much easier okay <clears throat> then we're going to glue this on here on the bottom and here on the side and try to make it a straight pocket not a crazy pocket but we're still going to add the book page on top so I think it should be okay and these pieces I'm just going to make sure they're all glued on and then we're taking one of the one of our dictionary pages again Like, I'm just going to say it again, I do like these window envelopes, but they're always, I don't know, they're definitely way more work. So what I usually do is, instead of trying to do one envelope at a time, I'll take my scrap box with scrap paper. Sorry, this glue is very messy now because it's hot up here. Um, I'll take my box with scrap papers to the TV and I will just cover a bunch of envelopes while I'm sitting and watching TV and then the next day or whenever I want to I come back and I just decorate them and that's just how I normally do it because um, when you're making a video they just take really long to decorate even though they are beautiful okay so let's put this on here oh and this now it's not gonna cover so we'll have to do one this way and i'm going to overlap that fold just because it is um <coughs> excuse me to reinforce that fold of the envelope and then when I glue it in the fold sometimes it just comes undone and let's do that oh, once right side up and once upside down does it matter probably not but let's fix it while we can okay so this is definitely a I just fixed my glue definitely um, not a fast mess make I would say I'm mean, just sorry there's definitely a big blob in here okay it's not a fast mess make so when you do this don't think you're gonna make 10 of these in an hour or it's not gonna happen but definitely nice to have on hand and I do think I, if you're at, at all like me you have a lot of these um, junk mail envelopes lying around and so it's a great project to use all of them let's because I used my flap here I'm going to just reinforce the back of my page and I probably should have just folded it over I was thinking but I wasn't okay <clears throat> and let's just add this kind of torn piece on here I do like the look of that for the fold over and I do apologize for my glue but 
it is pretty hot up here where I'm sitting and so the glue and it wouldn't matter what kind of glue I use it will be like this totally just not wanting to do this because it's too it already started melting almost okay so let now our envelope is covered and we can decorate and add some pages okay my goodness i'm covered in glue okay it's going to fold over this way i can make the notch in my pocket here and make sure Sure, I didn't glue everything on. Let me just see what I did here. There, I just need a little bit more glue. So this will be my fold over, my flap. And so it would look like that on the back. If you want the flap, if you don't want the flap, then leave the flap. Anyway, but this makes the back look pretty as well. And now we're going to just add the pages to our booklet. Okay. Um, pages. I have some pages here. These are just some of the boiled. Oh, this is some eco dyed paper. Um, I used. Hmm. Oh, I can't remember the flower's name. <laughs> I have so many of them in my garden. Anyway, some of the new eco pa dyed papers that will be in my shop soon. I am putting together some flower. I have the a lot of the um, leaves. I have lots of leaves. Leaf eco eco dyed eco dyed paper. Sorry, I'm just trying to do three things at once in my shop already but i am trying to build up a stash for flowers over the summer and hopefully i'll have some flower options in there soon what's the name of these little flowers my goodness okay okay so let's see if i can make a better job of stapling these in keep them straight this time okay that one's not great but it's okay better than the previous booklet. The previous booklet I'll take the papers out and restaple them because they aren't straight at all. So there's our booklet. Now we can decorate them. Let's quickly see if this works. So this is the policy closure. Oh my flap's not good big enough but let's just see if we can get the twine in here and if the glue will stick and then Shannon <laughs> I'll know too or maybe when I don't have brads in the future. And you can always, if you want to decorate this, this, you know how you have the one with the brad, the brad sits in the middle, but you can always add a little um, button on there. Yes, it works, Shannon. So definitely if you do not have a brad, just put a dab of um, hot glue in there. And I'll keep this for one of the envelopes so that works Shannon if that answers your question okay so that's one booklet done shall we do one more because I um, had to stop the video I'm not sure exactly how long it's going by now because my phone overheated I'm telling you it's really hot here <laughs> it is definitely not 
Um, this time let's do one without a flap over or the fold over. I don't know what you want to call So then we'll close it up. And like I say, I think this is kind of a hard project to mass make. And we'll cut the bottom part off and then maybe use that for something again. And cut the side open. And this one. And then we need decorative paper inside the window. See what we can find here. What goes? That will look good. Oh, I like it. This is a very grungy <laughs> um, envelope. But I kind of like it. I think this is again a William Morris pattern, if I'm not mistaken. Don't quote me on it. So I'm going to glue in my pocket. my decorative piece for the top loading pocket and I am doing this a little different than what Tina did <clears throat> I am covering the entire inside with book page just because I that's not double sided and I don't want that white piece to sit there but you definitely do not have to cover that book part as well. Oh, and I forgot to reinforce that. Can I s quickly squeeze in there and do that? Let's quickly do that before I just want to reinforce the envelope as well. rewatch this and maybe record this again because I don't think I'm doing the best job here. Okay, and then I'm going to cover the inside with my book page just because I want my inside the inside of my booklet to look pretty. And you can obviously, instead of um, stapling the book pages inside, you can sew it in with your sewing machine or sew it in by hand. Those are all good options. Just want to get those pieces of glue flat. Glue it down. It, make it pretty. Okay, <clears throat> and then we'll make our little notch in here. Whoops, maybe a little bit bigger. I'll look from this side. Oh, my glue is so wet. Ah, disaster. Okay. That should be okay. And I'll wait before I fold it over. Let's get some papers for in here. <coughs> Excuse me, we can fold that while we're waiting for the glue to dry. And these are the Rebus Rebus tea in our in my shop papers. So they almost have the color 
it's more like a peachy color it reminds me of um, vintage photo the ink color vintage photo it's not pink like the avocado dyed papers but it's more a peachy color and they are simply beautiful okay we'll take our chances with this and it is definitely difficult with the stapler to decide exactly where your stapler go staple goes so make if you do this with a staple i think after a while you definitely learn more or less where your staple goes through and even then it's not always 100 percent but you can always take the staples out and staple again okay so there's one booklet done see it's not doesn't take that long so i would advise maybe coffee dye your um envelopes beforehand and then you have the top loading pocket there and the papers and the booklet in there easy okay so let's decorate one or two because um, I don't know how long this video has been going on honestly because I had to stop anyway <clears throat> let's um, do this what shall we get here I have some birds these ones are too big I think they'll go over the pocket but I don't think that's a bad thing it might be nice hmm. and even if I chop their tails off they have stompy tails anyway hmm. okay, that's one option have this one totally into birds because I started fussy cutting this bird book maybe I'll use this one it covers less of the envelope it covers a little bit of the envelope but not as much and I have let's find that green doesn't go I want to find something that goes with and maybe we'll just do <coughs> book page just a little something for the birdie to sit on <coughs> let's see if he sits kind of on that line yep I'm going to put glue on that oh yes this is a great project but uh, you need a bit more time oh and we have to talk about the day 100 giveaway remember there's only three days left to participate in that if you're interested you can win a uh, envelope filled of ephemera that I've made since day 51 all the way to 100 because we did a give it away on day 50 as well all you need to do is leave a comment on more than one um, video and you will be and then I will nominate somebody two people each day and today's nominees are where am I day 97 it's Colleen from get art and Pam Van E I will have their names in the description box and shall we add a little something here oh, what's going on here I probably should have added this behind the birdie uh, I'm not totally convinced about the that color the color of the stamp 
I'm just looking for a different color. I think that goes better. Just like that, and then let's find a word. Day 97. Day 98 is um, vintage style jabots. Jabots, I think that's how you pronounce it, not sure. Um, and it's made with ribbon. So if you want, you're thinking about, um, you know, you have all these ribbons and you need to use them, then maybe tomorrow is the day for you to follow along. <clears throat> and I think that is day 98 I think somewhere there there is fabric flips I think that's day 100 not sure what day 99 is still have to go look at that anyway there is the booklet done let's see what we've made today we didn't make a lot today because this first booklet took forever to cover but as you can see it's worth coffee dyeing your um, window envelopes it just makes life so much easier we have a little booklet in here you can add a little closure with a flap as well or even add some pockets in here if you don't want these stapled in booklets or sewn in booklets you can even just cover this piece instead with book page just do coffee dyed paper or just a lined paper and this can just become a writing spot another option anyway we made this one one two this was the and three so not a lot but they do take a little more time than usual as I've said so thank you very much for coming along today and following along it's been a bit of a a rough one up and down but um, thank you and I'll see you tomorrow for day 98 and then there's only two more days left see you bye